Hey guys, welcome to a new video. In today's video, we're going to look at a lead code problem and the problem's name is find the difference. In this question, we're given two strings, S and T. The string T is generated by random shuffling of string L and then one more letter is added at a random position. We have to return the letter that was added to string T. If you take a look at this example, string S contains A, B, C, D and string T contains A, B, C, D, E. The random letter that was added into the string S is letter E. So that is the extra letter which has been returned as the output and in this example s is equal to an empty string and the random letter that has been added is y so y has been returned as the output now let's take a look at the steps we need to follow for this example so this is the string s and this is the string t given to us we have to get e as the output so the logic we're going to apply is that we know that each character has an integer value associated to it that is the decimal value in the ascii table so if we take a look at the letter a it has a value of 97 and similarly all the letters from A to Z have a decimal value associated to it in the ASCII value. So we're going to use the fact that what if we can find the sum of all the letters present in the string by adding each character because once you add each character it will take the integer value of that letter and add it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to find the sum of all the letters in the string S and we'll do the same to find the sum of all the letters in the string T. First we're going to find the sum for the string S and store it in a variable. Again, we're going to find the sum for the string t and store it in a variable. Now that we have the two sums, to find the extra letter, we can subtract the sum of the string t from the string s. So once you subtract, you'll get a value, right? That value, we're going to store it in a variable called result. And that result value is an integer value, right? You can convert that integer value into a character and return it as the output. So that will be the last step. So let's take this example. First, we have to add a plus b plus c plus d. That will give you the values as you can see in this table here 8 to d right for the string s it has the a has the value 97 b has 98 c has 99 and d has 100 so you can add these four values and store it in a variable as sum similarly you can do it for t sum so the string t consists of these five letters right so you can add the sum of these five uh, numbers so you'll get a value for t sum after you add the four letters for string s you'll get the value 394 after you add the five letters for string t you'll get the value 495 you have to subtract sum of s from sum of t that will give you 495 minus 394 that will give you the value 101 and in the ascii table 101 is the letter e right you can see here so you have to convert this integer into a character and 101 has been converted into the letter e e is the output which is the extra letter so this logic will work for any other string by using the fact that you have to add the integer values of those letters and subtract t minus s because they have mentioned in the question that return the extra letter that was added to t so you can conclude that length of t is always greater than length of s by 1 so let's implement these steps in a java program so let's create the two integer variables s sum and t sum now let's access each character in s and add it into the sum So in each iteration, let us add that letter into the sum. The sum plus is equal to the start cat hat of i. Let's do the same for the t sum. For that, we have to iterate through the string t from left to right. And add each letter into the sum. Now that we have the two sums, we have to subtract t sum minus s sum and store it inside an integer variable. I'm going to name it result. Now that we have the result for the extra letter inside the variable result, we have to convert this result into a character and return it. So you return, typecast it with car and return the result. So let's run the code, we are getting the expected output, let's submit the code. There you have it, the solution has been accepted. To increase the runtime, you can first convert this character into an integer. Let's do the same for this character, for the string t. Now let's submit the code. 
you notice that the runtime has been improved that's it guys that's the end of the program thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one